Hey everyone, so we're back out at the bus. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to build the walls for our shower cubicle. Um, and fridge. And fridge. What I have done is I've created this cardboard cutout. Now, I've just sort of put pieces together and I've just taped them, but I've done it to the edge of our bus wall so that we can get a nice smooth fit. Um, and that way it just makes it easier to use the cardboard because it's much easier rather than trying to guess it, measure it. We know that it fits, we trace around it, we cut out the wood. So that's the plan for today. Um, yes. Anything else? Oh, I was, was going to say how you made it, but... There's not really much to it. So I've just gotten pieces of cardboard and I've put them up against the wall and I've traced around and cut them accordingly and I've just taped and cut and taped and cut and traced. Perfect. These are the walls for our fridge that we've just cut. So this one on the right hand side doesn't contour to the uh, edges, like the, the shape of the bus, because we have this protruding in anyway. So you're not gonna see it, so we didn't go through the extra effort. So we'll just cover this up and yeah, it'll look just as good, but we're, uh, we're really happy with the other one. So we've just uh, put a coat of waterproofing over the wall, the side of the box, and the floor of where our shower is going to go. So now we just have to wait for that to dry before we put it on. Uh, this is what we used. It's the same as what we did a coat of the floor in previously, but yeah, we have scratched most of it, so we just have to reapply it before we put stuff down. We're now building our bed out of 35 by 70 mil timber. We're building a double bed frame, which is 138 by 188 in a east-west orientation. We've built it fairly high because uh, we had to build it high enough that our electrical system would fit underneath. We also wanted to fit our gas bottles and we wanted to try and fit a bunch of storage under there as well. The plan is to have some drawers or something to access that storage and hopefully have the bed gas lift, but it's pretty tight, so we'll see if that works in the end. Also where the top is, um, the top of the mattress is the widest point in the bus, so it allows us the most room. Shane being tall, he fits. All right, so the bed is built. Um, so the way we built it... It was difficult. Yeah, the way we had to do it, because the back is curved, we sort of didn't know how to how to go about it. But so what we ended up doing was we built the floor piece to go up against the back of the bus. We then used that to measure the furthest away piece. We built those floor pieces. We then built the uprights for them so we could then get the lengths of our top pieces. And we then went from there to build the middle of the bus, sort of using those as guides for how far things had to go. Um, and then yeah, we, we screwed these into the wall itself. That sort of just offers some structural support from the bus and sort of helps keep everything where it needs to be. Um, yeah, it feels pretty solid, so looks good. There's actually more room than we thought. I laid across it and still, you know, had this much space or something, which I thought was going to be pretty tight. So, that actually, uh, yeah, is a really good thing. What's next? Hmm. Finish off our bathroom walls. Finish off our kitchen. Electricity. We can put electricity in now. We can. The batteries, all the solar. Yeah. Now that now that stuff. our bed structure's in, we can actually work out exactly where the electrical system and gas bottles are going to go, and we can actually get them fitted in, which will be pretty good. Uh, we also have to build the tops of the bed, which is just going to be a ply top with a mattress on top. Um, yeah, if you found this video uh, useful, please like, subscribe, share it around, and until next time, thank you. Bye, guys. See ya. 
Quick, 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 quick,